I live in a little town called Grand Forks. No, it's not North Dakota. It's in British Columbia. It's in Canada. And it's just north of the American border. It was primarily a mining community a long time ago. There was a smelter here, and the mine was up in a place called Phoenix, which no longer exists. Close to Phoenix, there was a town called Eholt. It was a CPR town. It no longer exists either. But being a CPR town, that meant it was right on the CPR rail. Now, that rail line has been long pulled up, but there's still a trail. And we call that the Trans-Canada Trail now. And it's a nice little trail if you're crossing by bike or hiking. And what's really nice about the Eholt to Grand Forks trip is that Eholt was at the hump. It was a high spot between Midway and Grand Forks. That means that coming from Eholt to Grand Forks is a big glide all the way downhill through some really nice forest with some really nice scenery. So, join me and my friend Lorraine as we travel from Eholt to Grand Forks. Nice Sunday, sunny, but we're in the shade, and we're cruising down from E Holt to Grand Forks on the former railway grade, now called the Trans Canada Trail. And it's what's really nice about this for old fogies like us is we're just coasting. I mean, it's pretty much downhill all the way through the bush. It's pretty neat. I'll let you see. There's behind me. There's ahead of me. A little bit of washboard, but hey, this is pretty neat stuff. As long as we don't run into any cougars or bears, we'll be okay. We have now left behind the road where the vehicular traffic will be coming up, and now we're going down the boundary pathway, provided my friend here doesn't fall off her bike too much. <laughs> and uh, I think there's a tunnel coming up soon, so. See, it says bikes, horses, Skiers, backpackers, walkers, hikers, but they don't want vehicles. Oh boy, oh boy. Use at our own risk. Is it risky? Well, if you're seeing this, I guess it wasn't all that risky. If you don't see this, well, I guess we died. traffic is definitely different in quality. It's like basically a two-wheel track. Far less gravel. There's evidence along the side of the uh, the ties that were thrown away. Um, we came through at least two rock cuts. But, uh, no tunnels so far. But it's definitely nice and quiet here. Definitely uh, one a nice way to spend the afternoon. It's quite nice. The slope runs up behind me. That's to our right and runs down to our left. And over there is the tunnel. If you look closely, you can see Lorraine just coming up. Give you an idea of how big that tunnel is. My headlight on. <laughs> big, dark tunnel. Of course, I probably shouldn't have my sunglasses on. It's definitely damp in here. That's better. Take the sunglasses off. Okay. What was that noise? Is that you? Was that you? Was that me? 
What? Okay. Hey, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Literally, the end of the tunnel, and there's light. That's the North Fork, the Granby River. So right now, it appears we can see more river bed than river itself. Pretty low. And it's late in the season, the flow's pretty dropped. Dropped a lot. And a lot of angular rocks in this thing. We keep passing through rock cut after rock cut after rock cut. We're going down, down, down now. Pretty much it's a coast. All the way. Pretty neat. Green. Blue sky. Green on all sides. Rock, rock, rock. But it's nice. Look at this. This is where we're going to have our little spot of lunch. What a beautiful vista. Down. Oh, looking down is scary. The gorge. Yes. Cool. kind of neat. I think we'll eat here. Okay. Yet another tunnel. Betcha we don't need the light for this one. We'll just see. Woohoo! That's soft here. It's dark! Shelter. Another person. Hey. It's been about three hours and we've just been coasting with odd stops for lunch and stuff like that. So it's been really nice. If we'd been actually biking, it would have taken a lot less time. But heck, it's the first time. We wanted to enjoy it. It's nice to live in a real small town. I guess you don't have this in the big cities. I know that the gentleman we met back there just after the uh, tunnel, he was from Germany and he was impressed with this, what we have in our backyard here. So I guess we should be too. It's been a nice day. On the Trans Canada Trail, I'm Les in the Grand Forks. Hope it's a good day wherever you are.